Okay, I am back. And then I also found the 25 Days of Christmas as well. And this is one of the kits from last year. I'm not sure if you'll be able to find it. I actually got this from C um, KC in the summertime along with some other Simple Story kits. I actually got this one ugh, in the summertime as well. So I bought these all from CKC in the summer. But I knew I was going to be using them. I didn't know I was going to be doing the December Daily though. But I knew I was going to be using these. And then I also got these. And these are journal cards. Like flash cards. And it has different words on it. Which I think is cute. And then I purchased the die cut borders. It was either I get this or I get the um, washi tape. And I'm not really a big washi tape fan. So I decided to go with those instead of using the washi tape. And let me share some other things that I got for my December daily. Plus just project life just in general. I got these enamel um, dots. These are like really popular now. Um, these actually came with my Studio Calco kit. So like if you see the Studio Calco. So I just pulled them out to use. Then I purchased these here. And I'm going to use those. Then, I'm not sure but if any of you all seen these. But these come with a lot of these. Not all every single last one of them. But a lot of these vellum tags are in the Studio Calco December Daily. So I went ahead and got... Um, these vellum tags right here one of the ladies on um i think it was might have been studio calco or december daily she actually went through the kit that she purchased and had all the links to items that you can buy at other websites and i think when you click on it it told you where you could purchase the item from most of them was at two peas and these are another vellum set that is in some of these are in the studio calco kit but she had links to mostly like everything that you could buy from that kit for the people that didn't want to spend $90. And of course I spent more than $90, but I have like a whole kit instead of just buying end of it, like one sheet from the kit. I got these, which I will be using probably either in Project Life for December or my December daily. And they gave out a two and a five. But what am I going to do? I'm going to take the 2 and the 5 and I'll put it with my December daily. And then I got these with veneers as well. Which I'll be using. Then I purchased the... Where is the box? Okay. I purchased this Teresa Collins memory album kit. But... um. I saw Chris Ward's video on her December Daily, and I said, well, let me get another option for my book. This book is very flimsy, like she said, and it's it does not fit the 8x8 sheet protectors at all that I got from Doodlebug. So, um, this will probably be used for something else, but it will not be used for my December Daily. You can actually store the Studio Calco sheet protectors in here, which I also purchased some of these. They would fit perfectly, but not the Doodle Bugs. The Doodle Bugs are 6 by, I mean 8 by 8. These are smaller than that, so they'll fit in here versus the other ones will not. So I will not be using that book, but I will be using those sheet protectors. And then in the kit, let me actually show you what came in the kit. So you get all of these different pieces in a kit. So that's what all the this stuff right here is. So that's that. Then um, I purchased these from Michaels. I probably am going, I don't think I'm going to leave them like this. I probably will put um, paper over it and then just cut it down and hear the paper. And then put different items in these envelopes right here, which I purchased from Michaels when they, I think all the recollection stuff is 50% off. I think it ends today. Plus, I got 25% off. But this right here is the album that I will be using. It is a recollections album, and they are 40% off today. I don't know if they'll be 40% off on Black Friday, but this is the album I'll be using. 
And let me show you the other items that I have for my December daily. Now, I have several different kinds of mini clips, the paper clips. So I will be using some of those. I have the red ones, the white ones, the wooden ones, the black ones. And then I went to Target this morning. I was out and about and I picked up these from um, American Crafts. I picked up these little mini ones, which I think is adorable. And then I got these um, paper clips here for Christmas trees, which I thought was cute. I did not want to pay $5, but what the heck? It was cute. I had to get it. I also placed an order with El Studio when they had um, free shipping if you spent $25 or more when they had their stamp set. So I purchased this right here, which has 31 days as well. I will be mixing up my um, items. Then I also got this right here. I picked up these. These uh, journaling cards here. And I got um, several other ones. I think they actually gave this one to me for free. I believe so. And... No, this one came free. I forgot where I got this one from. I might—I don't know. Then I purchased this one, this one, and then this. So I am using those items, and since I still have more time, um, I do want to share with you some other things that I will be using. I might as well go ahead and use my ten minutes up. Um, a lot of people are using like shakers and the sequence and stuff like that in their December deli. So I will be using these Martha Stewart um, glitters here that I picked out. These were the ones. And I'll probably be using the beads as well. I had to check and see if I have a red one. But I'll be using these right here for my shakers. Then, um, Alex, as you all might know. Oh, another thing that I probably will be doing is embossing and folders. So I pulled out three of my little cutest ones that I have and um that I like and I'll probably be using these in my December daily as well. Uh, I'm trying to think of oh these are probably some buttons that I probably will be using these buttons along with these paper clips. I probably will use the red one and the green one. We'll see. Or just other things that I had. Now what I did is. I have a rack. As most of you have saw my rack. And I had embellishments on that rack. For years. For years. <laughs> so. I have been using so many. Embellishments on the pages. That I've done. So I said I might as well go ahead. And use up some of these embellishments. So, I'm going to show you the ones that I've had for years that I'll be using. Um, oh, actually, I did just buy this the other day. So, I'll be using this. These came in a kit from Studio Calco. These are some embellishments that were on my rack probably for like a year or two. It's these buttons. I think I bought these last Christmas as well as these. I think they're from last Christmas. These socks. Years. Had them for years. They're going on one of those pages. I bought these last year. I know I bought these last year, which I thought would be cute. Um, I bought these this year, but I think they're from last year. And I bought this years ago from the Target clearance bin. We all know we have these sitting in our rooms from years ago. Pull them out, ladies. I love this one. Yep, been sitting here. So I'm going to be using all of this, all of these items. Once we make our cookies, Ooh, stuff is falling. Cookies for Santa, gingerbread house. There's another pack of socks and slippers I have. I have these tags. Oh, I have another little gingerbread house. I have these and these, and then I have Santa. So I will be back with another video.